I have a theory about C.J. Stroud's coaching staff, and it involves proactive preparation for the inevitable. Let's go inside the locker room. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey, locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. Texas. So, one of the biggest hesitations about D'Amico Ryans and the Texans hiring him when they were in the coaching search, even for people who love D'Amico Ryans, was you got to have an offensive coach because you want to connect the quarterback and offensive coach. And the reality is if a coach is a, is a strong offensive mind and he has a really good quarterback, he's probably not going anywhere for a long time. Bill Walsh, Joe Montana, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, like the list goes on and on. And if, if the head coach is the mastermind, He's not going anywhere. Sean Payton, Drew Brees even. That was the biggest hesitation when it came to D'Amico Ryans. And the reality is, regardless of how you felt about D'Amico, and I was a D'Amico or bust uh, guy, but regardless of how you felt, if you were one of those people who were worried that, you know, eventually you would lose, lose your offensive coordinator uh, like Bobby Slowick, or maybe you would lose your quarterback coach like Gerard Johnson if the quarterback succeeded, that, that fear – is inevitably going to reappear at some point. Bobby Slowick got head coaching interviews last year. I think Gerard Johnson's definitely going to get some uh, in the future, uh, and he's a future head coach. So the Texans are going to have to replace, eventually, C.J. Stroud's offensive coordinator and or quarterback coach. They got fortunate this year in that both of those guys returned, and C.J. Stroud is working with those guys, and they're building on what they did last season. But it's inevitable. The inevitable departures for C.J. Stroud – are going to happen. However, I have a theory, and it involves one of the biggest heroes around town, one of the biggest local heroes. I love him. You love him. Everybody loves him. D'Amico loves him. Uh, and it involves Case Keenum, which leads me to this question. Is preparation for post Slowick uh, or Gerard Johnson already being prepared for? Are we already preparing for that? Is, is that already being prepared for because you look at Case Keenum and you look at what Case Keenum is and Case Keenum is a football lifer. Case Keenum is a guy who uh, he grew up in football. Uh, he can't seem to leave uh, his intangibles, keep him around as the skill set kind of deteriorates. Uh, the intangibles keep him around to the point where last year, when it was kind of clear that Davis Mills physically had the advantage on Keenum when push came to shove and the Texans had a big game, against the Tennessee Titans, they went with Case Keenum. And the reason was because of the intangibles, the deeper feel, which are assets, skill sets that lend themselves to being valuable when it comes to being a potential coach. And I think that's where Case Keenum is going to be. I think once Slowick leaves, once Gerard Johnson leaves, I think inevitably, I think Case Keenum's going to end up coaching. He knows this system. D'Amico Ryans trusts him. And quite frankly, just looking at training camp, when Case Keenum is out, if you look at what he's doing and you look at what he's doing during the game, he's one of the first guys that is right on C.J. Stroud's other shoulder, the one that Gerard Johnson isn't on. And Bobby Slowick is right there. If you watch the, the practice that Case Keenum missed during camp, he's got the earpiece in. He's listening to everything being said. He's following around Bobby Slowick, and it almost seems like he's going through coaching reps. Now, I'm not trying to make Case Keenum retire, play football as long as you can. But I think there's a strong chance this isn't based on anything he said. This isn't based on anything they've said. It's just based on his skill set and what you witness and what you observe and what I think Case Keenum is going to do. Don't want to make him retire. I've actually asked him this, and he said, I'm still playing, and I'll let it be that. But my theory is that life post Slowick and life post Gerard Johnson is already being prepared for, and I think Case Keenum's eventually going to be a part of this coaching staff, and I think he's going to be – a really, really damn good coach. Uh, here was C.J. Stroud talking about Case Keenum, and this was on the Sports Spectrum podcast. Really enjoy this podcast because you kind of get to hear the spiritual side of C.J. Stroud. Um, and he was asked about the leadership of the Texans. He talks about D'Amico Ryans, obviously, but listen to who he mentions after that when it comes to someone that he leans on. Keep in mind, this wasn't a question about Case Keenum. This was just a question about the foundation of, of the Texans locker room. This is the Sports Spectrum podcast. Shout out to CJ Stroud uh, and, and and the guys who are behind this. I think it's a really good podcast. So, Here's CJ. I'm just really honored and, and just amazed of just like how D'Amico leads from his faith. Like he never shies for, away from it. And that's inspired me, you know, and 
Case is another brother that I have that I've been talking to on a daily day basis about just the things I go through, you know, and we had the the, the conversation about cursing the other mm-hmm. night. And it was like, it was just like, I'm thinking one thing, he's thinking it too. And it can't <laughs> like, it's just amazing. So this team is just full of excitement right now. And we're really just ready to roll and get started. There you go. So he loves CJ. He loves Case Keenum. Case Keenum loves him. Case Keenum loves football. Case Keenum knows this system. When Case Keenum's not practicing, he's got the earpiece in. He's following around Bobby Slowick. He's been described as kind of an extra coach uh, on the staff. My theory, I think that as much as it's inevitable that you're going to have to replace your OC, you're going to have to replace your quarterback coach, I think that that next guy, the next guy to step in, or one of them, I think he's already being molded. And he's also, uh, much like D'Amico Ryan's, He's a guy that you absolutely love around here. What do you think about this theory? Again, not making case retire. I just think that the the biggest fear, the inevitability, I think it's being prepared for. Uh, And I think Case Keenum will eventually be a member of this staff. Subscribe, like, ride along. Always remember when it comes to this Texan stuff, whether Case Keenum's a coach, whether he's a player, whatever the heck he is, we're all in it together. Appreciate you for coming through. Texas talk, yeah, you know what we about to do. Localize every angle is what we really do. We the source, we the post of the city Let's too. Landlock, got the game in the headlock. Localize every time, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah.